In this lesson, we're going to focus on a composition of three functions. We have f, g, and h of x. So we need to find it and use it to evaluate f of g of h of 2. So let's say that f of x is x squared minus 4x plus 1. And we're going to say that g of x is the square root of x minus 2 and that h of x is 5x plus 6. So go ahead and find f of g of h of x. Well, the first thing we need to do is take h and plug it into g. And then that result, we're going to take that, plug it into f. So I'm going to start by finding g of h of x. So g of h of x, it's going to be g, so the square root, but instead of writing x, I'm going to take h and replace x with it. So we're going to replace x with 5x plus 6. So that's g of h of x. Now to find f of g of h of x, we need to take this and plug it into f everywhere we see an x. So we have the square root of 5x plus 6 minus 2 squared minus 4 times that and then plus 1. So that's f of g of h of x. Now we're going to evaluate it two ways. We're going to plug it into this formula and we're going to do it another way as well. So everywhere we see an x, we're going to put a 2 there. Five times two is 10. 10 plus six is 16. The square root of 16 is four. Now, four minus two is two. And so we get this. Two squared is four. Four minus two is eight. And I mean, 4 times 2 is 8. Now, 4 minus 8 is negative 4 plus 1. This gives us negative 3. So that's the answer. But let's get that same answer another way. What we can do is work from the inside and then toward the outside. So let's calculate h of 2. It's 5 times 2 plus 6. 5 times 2 is 10. 10 plus 6 is 16. Now, g of h of 2. h of 2 is 16, so this is g of 16. We can plug that into g. So that's going to be the square root of 16 minus 2. The square root of 16 is 4. 4 minus 2 is 2. And then we have f of g of h of 2. So h of 2 was 16. g of 16 is 2. So now we've got to find out what the value of f of 2 is. So now we can plug that into this formula. And it's going to be 2 squared minus 4 times 2 plus 1. 2 squared is 8. I mean, no, 2 squared is not 8. 2 squared is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. Negative 8 plus 1 is negative 7, and 4 minus 7 is negative 3. So we get the same answer, but the second method is a lot easier than the first method. As we could see in this example, it saved us a lot of time doing it using the second method instead of the first. 
Now, let's work on a different type of problem. Sometimes you're going to be given the data with a table. So we're going to have another example with three functions. Just the information will be presented in a table. So go ahead and work on the same problem. That is this part. With this table, find f of g of h of 2. So feel free to pause the video if you want to try this example. Just like before, we're going to work from the inside and then work outward. So first, what is h of 2? h of 2, so here's 2, here's h, they intersect at 4. So h of 2 is 4. So we have f of g of h of 2. So now we can replace h of 2 with 4. So we have g of 4. So now g and 4, they intersect at 2. So g of 4 is 2. So now we need to calculate f of 2. Here's f. Here's 2. They intersect at 9. So f of 2 is 9. So that's how you can evaluate a composition of three functions using a data table. Try this one. H of f of g of 2. Go ahead and evaluate that expression. So let's start with g of 2. Here we have g, here's 2, they intersect at 1. So g of 2 is equal to 1. Next we need to evaluate h, I mean f of 1. So here's f, here's 1, they both intersect at 4. So f of 1 is 4. And now we need to evaluate h of 4. Here's h, here's 4, and they lead us to 1. So the final answer is 1 for that example. So that's it for this video. Now you know how to evaluate a composition of three functions. Uh, whether if you're given all three functions or if you're given a data table.